Well, good morning. Happy Hump Day. It is Wednesday, and we are in Colossians 2, and I'm going to cover uh, verse 6, which says, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in him. Now, the word live that Paul is using here does not mean live life itself, and it doesn't even mean to behave yourself. It means to walk. Right? He's using it in the way um, that means to conduct yourself. So he's not suggesting that this church is spiritually immature or young. He's acknowledging that they are. He knows they are a young church. And that's why his desire in his letter is that he may present them as spiritually mature in Jesus. So he's acknowledging that they are not quite there. They are very young. They're young in uh, their planting of that church. They're young in their knowledge, their wisdom and knowledge um, of Jesus. And so he says to conduct yourselves, ethically conduct. And, um, and so it's above be behave, right? So we would say to our kids, if they're really small, behave yourself if you're going out into public or going somewhere. But to a young adult, you, they should, you, you take... Um, you pretty much expect them to know how to behave, but you can say, conduct yourself accordingly. Meaning, I know you're gonna behave yourself, but now represent the family, right? Represent uh, us in your behaviors and actions. And that's what Paul's saying to this young church, to conduct yourselves appropriately, represent Jesus well. Now, why is he making such an emphasis on this? I want to share with you. The other night, we were in a small group of us uh, praying and worshiping and listening to a teaching. And a dear sister, a sister of ours had shared a little bit of her testimony and a line that she said about coming back to the church. She said, I said, Lord, you know I love you, but your people, your people. And I don't know if I've heard a truer, more authentic, heartfelt statement from somebody who had, for whatever reasons, left the church and then come back or wanting the desire to come back in the church and said, Lord Jesus, you know I love you, but your people. And that speaks right to this letter. Paul knows that it is the conduct of spiritually immature Christians that can push people not just out of the church, but have them turn from Jesus. And Paul does not want that. We do not want that. So if we were to take this letter that Paul is writing to this young church and we take it for ourselves, uh, let's call it you know, the gathering to six and seven of the scriptures, Paul is saying to the young church, conduct yourselves accordingly, ethically conduct yourselves, that you may not push no one out of the church or drive anyone from the Lord. But since you have received the Lord, you have the love of Jesus in your heart, and you have been accepted. You represent him well, and you do the same for others, right? Love them, accept them, and have unending grace for them. So I want to encourage you all, get out there today, represent Jesus well, and love everyone that you come in contact with. Amen? All right, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you all tomorrow morning.